Hi everyone, this is Gail, and it's time for Friday Frolics. I have had a full week, although a good week in some ways, most ways. Um, I did go to the doctor again. I saw a different doctor about my shoulder, and he is going to do an MRI on Monday to see what's going on, because depending on what the problem is will determine the type of um, therapy that I have. Um, without getting into too much detail, if I have a significant tear in this shoulder, in the, in the tendon, then of course that's going to require surgery. But as far as the bone spur is concerned that runs along this bone, he said that bone spur has been there for many, many years and it's probably not going to get any worse. And what physical, if the tear, if there is a tear and it's a small tear, then it won't be an issue. But he said that, say this is my ball joint of my shoulder and this bone fits over top of it. Well, right now it's like this. So that bone spur, every time I move, that bone spur is cutting into the tendon that runs along the top here. But he said physical therapy will bring this joint down so there won't be any irritation anymore. So I'm hoping that that's the route we get to go. Because I would much rather go to physical therapy than to go through surgery. So, But I won't know that uh, actually until July 5th when I go back to see him. I have the MRI on Monday, then I have an appointment with him on July the 5th. So pray for me. You know, whichever way it goes, I'm okay with it. I just want it done before I get any older. <laughs> Uh, one of the humbling things when I was there is he kept talking about the people that are not good candidates for uh, shoulder uh, repair. And one of them was white females over the age of 60. Well, duh. <laughs> so anyway, we will just see where this goes. But just wanted to fill you in on a few things. Um, I have put up some polymer clay tutorials. You should have had one earlier this week and one that went live this morning. There will be another one next week. I've already filmed it, so at least I know you'll get that done next week because I really need to start work on my Patreon video, whatever it's going to be. I need to, you know, start working on it. So, um, I think today is, the, is a how-to video, and I, I'm going to try to do some more how-to's. I kind of got started and then stopped because life got in the way, but I'm going to get back to doing some of my how-to's. And uh, this morning's was on how to do a swirl lentil bead, which is something I've known, oh goodness, almost, it's one of, almost one of the first things I learned 17 years ago, almost 18 years ago, uh, doing polymer clay. So you know, I just thought that would be something somebody might want to know. There's no project. My, ha my how-to videos are not going to have a project. It's just going to be a technique. And then I will have a tutorial, uh, which is a project. And I'll try to alternate. I'll do one how-to video and then one tutorial. I may get both of them done in one week. I may only get one done a week. But however it works out, I will continue to do those videos. Um, I'm also going to have a D-stash on this group, even though it is a Fun Stamper's Journey D-stash. Uh, as you probably know from all the talking I've done about Fun Stamper's Journey, um, we have a new catalog coming out July 1st. And, oh man, it is just awesome. And if you don't have one, you need to get one. Um... There are several ways you can do it. You can order it from my website, which is www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Gail Thompson. And you can go in there and order a catalog. And there are $12.95, I believe, which sounds like a lot for a catalog. But, oh, man, not only is it full of some yummy products, but the card samples that are in there are they're big. You can see what's going on. Oh, they're just beautiful. And I'm going to be doing some videos on some of those, uh, using some of those card samples that are in our 
inspiration book and catalog. But um, I also, when I first started with Fun Stamper's Journey, because I didn't have anything that was Fun Stamper's Journey, I bought a lot of uh, stamps and things that, of course, I liked them, but I didn't understand the concept of them not being around forever. That's something I've never had to deal with before. So I have quite a few, uh, probably 30 or so, that um, are going to retire at the end of June. So since they're not officially retired yet, uh, they've asked us not to publicize any sales or anything of these items. So I'm going to wait until July the 1st. And I've already done the video. I show each one, explain what they are, and my pricing. And then on underneath the video, in the comment section, I have done a separate comment for each stamp. So like I would say, um, I don't know a name of one right now, but just say Sea Life Stamp, uh, $10. And... What you would do is just reply to that comment, mine, or I want this, or whatever, um, and then give me your email address. And then I will, if you buy more than one, or if you just want the one, I will send you an email with your total, including shipping. And I ship the cheapest way that I can. Um, but unfortunately, the stamps... They need to go in a padded envelope, and because they're in a padded envelope, they have to ship as a package. So the cheapest would be $2.67, $2.67, and then it just goes up from there. And I use actual uh, U.S. Postal Service uh, rates. I don't add anything extra for the envelopes or anything. That's, you know, part of my price, the way I look at it. So I uh, hope you will look at that. Uh, you know, if, you're, if you've wanted to try some Fun Stampers Journey products but didn't, or their stamps and just didn't want to uh, invest in anything like that right now, now is a good chance. You can get one. They're at least half price. Some of them are even less than half price. So, you know, now would be a time to, to jump on them. Um, oh, I thought of something else while I was talking and I meant, and I was going to try to remember as soon as I finished, and it's gone. Um, let me see. I do have a new YouTube channel. I'm going to try to separate my polymer clay from my card making. The only problem is my new channel has one follower, and my uh, the one I've got now, this channel, has got almost 5,000. So there are different perks with YouTube depending on the number of subscribers you have. So if you would, even if you don't intend to look at any of my Fun Stamper's Journey um, videos, would you at least go in long enough and just uh, subscribe to that channel so that I can get to a point where I can totally separate the two? Right now, it's just not feasible. I've you know, I'm trying to build a uh, audience. It's I'm posting the same videos there that I'm posting here right now. But eventually, I will get to the point where the only thing I'll be posting on this channel is polymer clay, and the only thing I'll post on the other channel is going to be Fun Stamper's Journey. And that way, those of you that are clay people uh, won't have to be bothered with looking at my poly at my uh, Fun Stamper's Journey products. Oh, I remember what it was I was going to say now. I wanted to let you know that the Fun Stampers Journey stamps work very well with polymer clay. Uh, I made, I don't know if I showed you the boxes that I made, but I made some, I covered an Altoid tin and used the Sutton Slice using the uh, uh, Fun Stampers Journey logo stamp. And <clears throat> they turned out great, and they cleaned up, but they're so deeply etched that they work so well with uh, polymer clay. So if there's something that you see in my D-stash that you might use in your clay, you need to grab it because they are awesome. And being red rubber, 
and they're they're red rubber. They're made in the United States. They will last forever. And uh, you just need to treat them well. And don't ever use alcohol on them. Alcohol will dry out the rubber, and then they'll start to crack. So, you know, use baby wipes or um, something that, do, that will clean without having alcohol. You can always buy our stamp cleaner, uh, which has no alcohol in it. But again, that's a Fun Stamper's Journey product. But anyway, so I did want to let you know, uh, like I said, there is another tutorial coming on Monday. Uh, it's not a how-to. It's a regular tutorial. It was something kind of out of my comfort zone. But I did it, and I think I like it. Um, there's some other things I want to do, but I think, you know, this... I think the, I learned a lot in doing this video that the, so that the next time I do one, I would do it a little bit different. But I don't want to tell you too much because I don't want to ruin your surprise. So let's see. Uh, I've got the D-Stash, um, the new YouTube channel. And I've all right. I did make two cards this week. I made this one using the Dandelion Wishes stamp, which is one of my favorites. And the background is uh, sort of a marbled effect. What I did, we have uh, a product, when I say we, Fun Stamper's Journey, has a product called Silks. And they're little bottles of color, and most of them have a shimmer to them. And they come in a bottle like fingernail polish. And it's even got a little brush like fingernail polish. And when, when I first started using them, I started using them only as, as a, a spatter. Because you could take the, the cap off and then tap it, tap the brush over your card, and it'll spatter on your card. And I've got some spatter on this card, if you can see it. See, I've got some silver, and depending on how the light's going to hit this, I've got the light turned away so there won't be any glare. You can't see the sparkle silk. But there's some silver silk on there. And that's all, just, just the silver and the sparkle silk. But in addition to doing the splatter... You can use it for so many things. You can put it on an acrylic, just put a dab on an acrylic block and use a water brush and use it to paint with, and it would look like watercolor. There's so many things you can do, but what I did on these, and it might be easier to see it on this background. This is the other card. And I'm just trying to get the light to show the sparkle silk, but it just doesn't look like it's going to do it. But if you see the marbling effect, what I did is I took a, a, um, one of the plastic shoe boxes from Dollar Tree and put about maybe a half an inch of water in it. And then I took the silks and I just barely touched the... Uh, oh, hold on a minute. I've got a dog caught. Be right back. Whew, sorry about that. Uh, my daughter's dog, the one that has the breathing issue, had come into the room. And, of course, Lola's in here, so it was really crowded. And I had a one of these wide bungee cords that have the plastic hooks on the end hanging on the back of my chair. And it had grabbed her collar. So she was getting ready to panic. It's a good thing I looked when I did. But I apologize for the, for the break. But... Um, where was oh I put I took the brushes of I used the uh, turbo teal, the cool pool, and I did put silver in it even though the silver didn't really shine uh, show up very much. Lola, Lola's now fascinated with that bungee cord. No, good girl. Um, anyway, I barely tapped the brush on the top of the water. And when I did, it just kind of went like this. It made a big, like a big bloom, an explosion type thing. And I did that several times with each color. And then I took a, I forgot what I used. I think I used the end of a paintbrush and just swirled a little bit. And then I took my cardstock. And this is the uh, watercolor paper that's on the, the card front here. 
or color splash paper. I took it and just laid it on top and pulled it up. And then these are two of the designs from the same thing. I got. I think this one was the first one. And then this one was the second one. Don't you love that background? And then there is a third one, but I didn't make anything out of that one. I saved that for later. But uh, anyway, that was the new technique that I showed. If you're interested in seeing it, I did it. There is a video for it. So um, just wanted you to see the two cards that I did. Um, oh, also, again, sorry, Fun Stamper's Journey. Our, because our catalog launches on July 1, I am hoping to have a Facebook party on July the 1st, which is a Saturday, and it's from uh, 5 until 7 p.m. Um, Eastern Daylight Time. So however that fits into your time zone. But it's only for the two hours, and it's I'm going to do some live uh, videos uh, during the, sh the party, I'm going to offer, tell you about our specials and everything. So if you would like to, to participate, uh, please go to my uh, Facebook page. And it's Gail's Fun Stampers Journey Catalog Launch Party, I think is the name of the group. And you'll have to ask to join. I have no problem adding you. But uh, check it out and see, you know, just see what some of our new stuff, more than what I've shown in the past. Uh, let's see. We were Well, I mentioned Lola a little while ago. Her, we do have someone that's very interested in her, but they're moving right now. They, they just moved this past weekend, and they needed some time to get straight. And I haven't heard anything. I sent an email this morning to the group leader to see if, she had heard anything because I'm as much as I think she is adorable and she is she's got so much personality but she's just too much for my senior dogs everything she does she does at 100 miles an hour my senior dogs are just wanting you know they just want to chill and they get really annoyed with her especially my male dog Dix because he likes to lay on a bed on a soft bed and the softest bed is over closest to the walkway and which means that Lola has to get into one of the beds that's fur that's on the other side between the walkway and the wall. And if she wants to go somewhere, she just walks all over top of him. And he has terrible arthritis, so she hurts him. And he just doesn't like her right now. They, it's really funny. He's turning into a grumpy old man, and he wasn't that way till Lola came. So my dogs would be happy for her to go to. But uh, she's just got to go to the right home. And I'm hoping this lady, I'm assuming it's a lady and her husband, because one minute the girl would say they, and then they would say she. But I think they're saying she because they've been communicating with the wife. But um, who knows, maybe in the next week or two, Lola will get into her forever home, and she'll be happy, and my dogs and cats will be happy. So I think that's about it. Um, Wherever you are, I'm sure you're having weird weather, whether if you're on the, in the southwest, you've got that horrible heat, and if you're in the uh, southeast, you've got all the rain from the tropical storm, and, you know, it's, the weather has just been so crazy. So, wherever you are, just stay safe, whether it's from the heat or from the water. There's flooding. We had flooding here in Richmond this week. You know, it's it's just it's just crazy. So be careful, be safe, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll be back next Friday for another Friday Frolics. Bye bye.